In this lesson, we'll be comparing fractions. And there's a little trick that you can use to compare fractions very quickly and efficiently. There's this first example, we're going to compare the fraction 7 eighths to 5 sixths. You'll need to use the less than, greater than, or equal to signs to compare these two fractions. So before you've changed them into decimals, or maybe you've just guessed which fraction is larger, I'm going to show you a method right now It's going to help you be sure as to which fraction is larger. So we are going to do the crisscross portion of smiley face crisscross. We will not need to do the smiley face because we don't need a common denominator. So just the crisscross. We're going to do 6 times 7 is 42. Then we're going to do 8 times 5 is 40. And now we simply just compare the, frac or compare the numbers that we just came up with. So we're comparing 42 to 40. We need to figure out, okay, which one of those numbers is larger? Obviously it's 42. So 7 eighths is larger than 5 sixths. Here's your first homework question and make sure you are showing your work in your math notebooks with today's date and comparing fractions as a title. You're going to compare 8 ninths to 4 fifths. Again, we want to see you use the crisscross portion of smiley face crisscross and compare these two fractions. You will submit your answers in an online Google form when we're completed with this video. For this example, we're going to compare 7 twelfths to 5 eighths. So again, we're going to do the crisscross. So 8 times 7 is 56, and 12 times 5 is 60. So 60 is larger than 56, which tells us 5 eighths is larger than 7 twelfths. Here is homework question number two. Again, make sure you are showing your work in your math notebook. And your notebook should be nice and neat. You should have questions 1, 2, 3, and 4 for each homework assignment along with the date and the title of the assignment. So you need to compare 3 sixteenths to 2 elevenths. For this problem, we are comparing an improper fraction to a mixed number. The best way to do this is to turn that mixed number into an improper fraction. So we're going to do that. We're going to use our triangle trick. Three or excuse me, 5 times 3 plus 2, 17 fifths. We're going to compare 17 fifths to 10 thirds. So we're going to do our crisscross. 5 times 10 is 50. And then we need to do 3 times 17. Do our lattice box here. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3 finish off our lattice box and we get 51. So 17 times 3 is 51. So we're comparing 50 to 51. And 51 is larger, which tells us 3 and 2 fifths is larger than 10 thirds. Homework question number 3. You're going to need to do the same thing that I just did. Turn that mixed number into an improper fraction and compare these two fractions. Again, make sure you're showing your work in your notebook. At this point, I'd like for you to draw a snowman with a smiley face in his hat in your notebook where you're taking notes and showing your work for your homework. And make sure that you show that to Mrs. Skadsom or to me when we come around to check your work for this homework assignment. So once again, draw a snowman with a smiley face on the inside of his top hat on your paper somewhere. Now for this example, we're comparing two mixed numbers, so we're going to need to do that uh, triangle trick twice. So we're going to do 5 times 1 plus 9, so we get 14 fifths. Denominator stays the same. Triangle trick again. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Denominator stays the same. So we're comparing 14 fifths and 7 thirds. So we are going to do our uh, crisscross method again. So I'm just going to rewrite this down below here so you can see it a little clearer. So 14 fifths and 7 thirds. So we're going to do our crisscross. We need to do 3 times 14. Let's see, I'll do my lattice box over here. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. I know this is small, but you get the gist. So then we're going to do, we got 42 over here. Oops, excuse me. Should be over here. 
and we'll cross it out. Then we're going to do 5 times 7 is 35. So 42 is larger than 35, which tells us 14 fifths is larger than 7 thirds. And then I'll just transfer my inequality up here. So 1 and 9 fifths is larger than 2 and 1 third. Okay, here's your here is your final homework question, number four. You need to use inequalities or an equal sign to compare these two fractions. Again, you're going to need to turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Make sure you're showing your work, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you.